except for lunch and dinner, obviously. Well, I guess late night snack is also kind of a favorite. I'm having the same thing that I've been having for, you know, variations of this. I've been having every morning for a whole year, I would say. So a lot of you who've been following me a while probably are tired of me talking about this porridge, but I cannot stop raving about it. It's like, it's, the, it's an obsession, this porridge. It's cold porridge. You, you make really loose porridge, you pop it in the fridge, and then when you take it out, it's become like quite jelly. And then I mix in just a tiny bit of soy yogurt, unsweetened soy yogurt to make it even fresher. With this, I'm having, look, I even plated nicely for you. I'm having half a banana and a whole sour Granny Smith apple. I just muck this about. Oh, and also I'm having a few Do you drops. muck this about? I muck it about. And I'm having a few drops of uh, bitter almond extract in here, which makes this taste like a dessert. But obviously the most healthy dessert ever. Oats, the best thing in the world because it keeps you really full. It doesn't make you feel heavy. And at the same time, it moves everything so you never bloat it if you have porridge in the morning. I am a porridge cult all in one person. Well, David behind the camera is even a more porridgey person than I am. So I think, I think we are a cult of two so yes. far. If you want to join, find us on Facebook. This is just um, mixed berries, frozen berries that I've heated up. Usually I just put it in the fridge and then I have it cold as jam. But now I'm having it hot because I was out, so I just made a fresh batch. And the hotness with the coldness, magic. You need to be generous when it comes to the jam. Frozen berries is much cheaper than fresh ones. And berries are the most healthy fruits. We have blackberries, raspberries, uh, and my favorite berries, red and black currants in here, which are all powerhouses when it comes to nutrition. Obviously, no porridge is complete without a healthy, a healthy sprinkle of cinnamon. Cinnamon door. I read that you shouldn't eat more than a teaspoon of cinnamon per day. I think I'm borderlining uh, being unhealthy with my cinnamon consumption. Mm. Doesn't that look good? Mm. OMG. Mm-mm-mm. I'm really full and happy and almost ready to go to the gym. But before I go to the gym, I wanna tidy up because I always feel like when I come home from the gym, I just shower and then start working and I want the place to be super clean and super like organized so that I can have a productive morning because I'm one of those people that I can't at all concentrate if there's messes around me. So I like to have everything spick and spam. David always does the kitchen, so I don't have to worry about that. But I like to go around all the rooms, tidy everything, so when I get home, I am ready to work and my brain will work at full capacity. Now I can be focused and organized in here after the gym. The thing is, David and I are really good with tidying. Like, our place is always tidy. Everything is in the right place. What we're really not good with is cleaning. So, so what do we have for you? Anyway, we have the coolest sponsor ever for this video, Roborock. We just got a robot vacuum in our home. She's taken my job and I'm happy about it. Yeah, David is usually the hoovering person and I am the, you know, cleaning the bathroom person. Let me tell you a few of the really clever things that our new robot vacuum has up her sleeve. First of all, she's fully automatic and she goes back to the dock to charge herself by herself. She also understands when she's on a carpet and that means that she sucks harder because it's more difficult to get the stuff out of a carpet. But also she's very good with like sliding onto the carpet easily. She doesn't like, you know, stand around bouncing her head on it. So it's just... She's oh, so she gets over one. like our table in the living room yeah, and everything. Yeah, like yeah. a metal rod under yeah. the table. She I'm going to show B-roll here, the yeah. magic of B-roll. Where, where she <laughs> jumps over this hurdle. Yes. She's, she's such a good uh, little robot. But here's one thing that we didn't know that I thought was kind of mind-blowing. She's not just a vacuum, she also does mopping. 
So that's another task that David doesn't have to do. <laughs> and we have tried her now for like a couple of weeks and so far she's been picking up everything uh, that we've been throwing at her or throwing on the floor, more like it. Oh, uh, she has an app. So you just, you can just click on the app and tell her like, Roborock, go into the kitchen, this area, because I have spilled the coffee on the floor. So as you can see, she is fully charged. Uh, click on her and here is our apartment she, she has she's, outlined she's, our apartment herself she's like a dolphin she's like a dolphin she's a purr, purr. <laughs> except for the office which is here where we are because we closed the door on her when she was doing the vacuum the other day here is jenny's cinnamon spill <laughs> <laughs> she did that today yeah I, I just outlined exactly where i wanted her to clean and, and she, she cleaned it she cleaned my so my cinnamon is now she made her way over and then went back. Yeah. So since we have this app, it means that we can just tell her to clean whenever. So say that we are on a three week vacation and we want our home to be spotless when we come home, we can just tell her to clean, you know, the day before we come and she will just like, you know, freshen things up for us. <laughs> also, you can connect to Alexa. So you can tell Alexa, Alexa, tell Roborock to go clean in the bathroom. You know, they can all talk to each other. I'm hoping that they won't start to conspire against us and take over the world or something. So guys, go check out Roborock S5. I will, of course, leave a link in the description. And I want to thank Roborock so much for making our life easier and more pretty. My tummy is full and my apartment is tidy and clean. Yes, it is time for the gym. Basically, I go to the gym five times per week uh, and I always go in the morning. So two days a week is leg day, two days a week is like upper body day and one day a week I do core because I do core on the other days as well. So today is upper body. So I'm gonna work on, on the guns and I'm gonna pump some chest. Which I also have like a 15 minute walk, brisk walk to the gym. So that's a nice warm up and cool down. And at the gym, uh, as a further little workout warm up before I do the machines, I stand on a cross trainer for 20 to 30 minutes, which I hate. I really, really hate the cross trainer, you know, the elliptical. So what I do is that I take my phone, pop it on the cross trainer and I watch YouTube while I'm on it because otherwise I couldn't stand it. It is so boring. Who is with me here? Like I, I'm one of those people that if something becomes boring, I just cannot do it. I get so much anxiety from being bored. David is like, he can do boring stuff all day long and be okay with it, but I, it freaks me out to be bored. It just makes me, I need my brain to be like active all the time. A good tip, if you have a boring workout schedule, watch YouTube. Also, when I walk to the gym and when I'm doing the machines, I listen to an audiobook. That's another way to make any type of boring task like working out, doing the dishes or anything. Just listening to an audiobook or podcast is the way to go. This is what I'm wearing to the gym, by the way. Uh, this top and these leggings are from Arquette. They sent them to me, so it's a gift. But I wanted to tell you about them because they are made from recycled polyester. So it's like a more sustainable option for those of you who are looking for new gym wear. Really, really comfy and super good looking as well. These shorts are really old, I think they're from weekday and I have my dad's sneakers that I will walk to the gym in, obviously not wear at the gym. Oh, when I walk to the gym, I kind of look a little bit like a spy. You want to see? How do you like it? Oh, it really looks like a spy. Yeah. And since it is sunny today, the trusted old sunnies. Welcome to our bathroom. It's time to get out of these sweaty clothes um, and take a nice hot shower. David, you are not allowed. You need to leave the premises. You guys, you also have to leave the premises because... I usually only wash my hair once a week because uh, when my hair is newly washed, it's so soft. It just like hangs like a wet curtain on my face. I can't do anything with it. So I like my hair to be a little bit dirty. But here's a good trick for every one of you who has like really silky soft hair like I do. Makeup artist Maria told me this trick that if you, when you wash your hair and it's really silky, when it's dried, Put in some dry shampoo and it will really make your hair, give it much more texture and make it feel like it's dirty. I don't even know how that works, it's like a paradox. Dry shampoo makes dirty hair clean and clean hair dirty. It's just how the world works. Isn't it wonderful? Okay, toner. I mean, Santa Bella, I've been using them for I think four years now, three or four years. You've seen me using this stuff already, but you know, when you find something that works for you, why change it up? 
I mean, sometimes I do try other brands because they send me stuff and it's good for me to like review and things. I'm using the toner, the Age Protect Serum and the Age Protect Cream because, you know, you want to protect your why not protect yourself? So very simple, three products for the face. Uh, I'm not going to do anything special, super special today. We're just going to have like a meeting and then I'm going to do have a little photo shoot in the afternoon. So I'm just going to do very, very simple makeup. But I like doing my makeup in natural daylight because that's how people are going to see me. So let's go out into the living room. You know, I might say that it's because I want natural daylight, but it's also because like how much cozy is this sitting down in the sofa doing your makeup than um, being in the bathroom. First, let's deal with this. My hair just keeps on growing. I don't know what to do with it. It's just getting longer and longer. I don't think I've ever in my whole life had hair this long. I have no idea what to do with it. You know, I was thinking about maybe doing like a bulb, but I'm over that. I have no idea. I'm just gonna let it grow, I guess. No, I need to cut it. Today, simple makeup, just concealer, a bit of these, this like foundation powder combo and some bronzer, touch of mascara, and I think that would be it for today. By the way, one thing that I didn't mention earlier is that I've started doing a new thing uh, for maybe for the past six months, and that is to not check like Instagram, YouTube, and whatever before breakfast. So usually I don't check any of my social media until like after the gym or at the gym, which really has just lowered my stress levels so much. The same thing, after dinner, I don't like look at social media. I just do my, my other stuff. I think social media just heightens your brain activity so much and you feel like you get so many ideas, especially for me since it's my job as well. So I just decided to have moments of the day without it and it is amazing. I really love it. I think this is it. I think these are my natural eyebrows. I think they're fully grown out. Not much to look at, are they? Very soft, not very dark, not very bushy, but that, you know. They look much better in real life than in the camera. They look kind of thin in the camera. But I, I like to have them quite light because I think it goes with my coloring and it looks kind of scanty chic, you know. But uh, I usually just take some brown eyeshadow and an eyeliner pencil and just fill them in so that they look a little bit thicker. I'm all done, just final sherry on top is to fill in my beauty spot here. Tiny bit with the same brown eyeshadow. Now what to wear? We're having a meeting at home, so it's not like I need to buy something fancy, but I always feel like I work much better if I look the part. So I want to look comfortable, but yet, you know, kind of a little nice. chic. I don't want to look too relaxed. I want to look like I'm at an office, you know? Great. This is the final outfit. Mm -hmm. I feel super, super comfortable, but also quite chic. I like it. What do you think, babe? Oh, I love it. It looks really nice. I mean, it's kind of like my uniform now. T-shirt and jeans. I've become one of those really really basic scandy girls you know uh, but i think it looks cute uh, by the way we are planning like the upcoming videos for the for the channel so i'm thinking of maybe doing like an instagram post where you just write down a bunch of ideas we have and you can help us decide what you want to see so um go on over to instagram and you know see if you can i'm gonna post some some uh, photo about that so you, we can decide together what we want to do for this spring but hey enough talking and can we please get to work i mean how long has this video been going on and we haven't even started working yet let's do this coffee the longest four minutes of the day waiting for the coffee to brew but it is time it is time to finally sit down and work we have done all the other shit that needed to get done for me to be in a good mood and a good state of mind to be productive you know, we're just gonna have a meeting now where we discuss everything and blah 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 you don't need to be involved in that but i wanted to <laughs> I mean, it's, sure? it's very i think it's very boring but i wanted to show you one thing that we started doing last week so this is week two it's like in a in a notebook we just write down five things that we want to take care of this week and i don't mean like super practical things i mean more like you know broad things like you know um eat healthy or uh, keep a budget these kind of like big things and then every morning when we have our meeting we look over them oh do we remember to keep the budget this week how are we doing and then the next monday we change to find new ones and we also go through how did we do with the um, the five ones that we had last week so i think it's a really good way to just decide what are the five main things in life that we want to work on uh, instead of having like you said to do this which is like you know two thousand things and it's like unprioritized this is like the five big ones that will make us you know 
happier and reach our goals and all of that. So I think it's very smart. I mean, we only done it for two weeks, so but so far so good. We have failed some and we have um, managed some. Lower stress. That's a big one. Oh, those four minutes weren't long at all. David, we're gonna have another meeting with our assistant, then I'm gonna do some shooting in the living room just by myself with a selfie stick. So I think that's it for my morning routine. I hope that you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun having you guys tag along. Don't forget to help me choose uh, videos over on Instagram if you want to have an opinion about what videos, upcoming videos we're gonna do. This was a request by the way, or many of you requested a morning routine video, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. As usual guys, you are the best. See you already next week. Hello and puss puss. Uh, here, here is one about family though. Jenny is an only child and David is not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know you're throwing some shade at Jenny there. Uh, yeah, I think, why, why me, not you? I think both of us seem to be the typical only child, uh, well. don't you?